All right, good morning, good morning. We got a little bit after 5.30, we're looking at 29 degrees, so it's pretty mild outside. Inside, I ran one burner on that stove last night on the propane oven, the new wave, and it was about 35, 36 in here, so didn't really do much. I'm not 100% sure of that thing yet, but I wanna test it out a little bit more. I wanna put a damper in there maybe. We got a bunch of crows, we got a murder going overhead. And I also want to get it up off the floor a little higher and maybe put it on a metal box or on a sheet of metal to try to reflect some of that heat around. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's throwing enough heat for the propane that it uses, but coffee's all perked. Got that going here, hotter than heck. Breakfast all ready to roll. Uh, I got some sauces to put on it today. Got a uh, old standby ketchup for the eggs. Got some Franks put that stuff on everything that never goes wrong with Frank's you can put that on it's not really hot it says hot sauce but we'll put it on this egg over here and on a few potatoes and then might try this stuff out this is sriracha sauce a couple viewers said try that on your eggs so I'll try it on anything let's give it a let's give it a go First off, you got to figure out the cap. I don't know how much to put on. Let's try that much. Let's see if that's an even. It's not bad. Looks like that heater went out. <coughs> Not sure what that's all about, but the heater went out. That's not good.
This is done. I'm going to drive that cup of coffee right into me and fire up the snowmobile, get dressed the rest of the way, and go out and pick up my buddy Sean. Sean's going to come in and fish with me for the day. We're doing a multi-species day, so it'll be cool to catch some yellow perch, some big ones. Uh, maybe some rock bass, that'd be pretty cool. Definitely going to set some jack traps for pike. Hopefully get a big pike topside, and after that, never know what you're going to catch out here. Definitely going to go for some crappie, too. So we'll have some catch and cook. We'll have some eats for a catch and cook. Nice, that'll warm you up. here Sean's setting down first for for pike look at the size of that baby if that you look, caught brook trout smaller than that, that oh for sure <laughs> about a 10 inch nine nine inch that guy goes up we're gonna have something <laughs> yeah <laughs> but they're in here big enough first trip out go big or go home right. right it's only one way to do it we get a couple jack traps give them a whirl 31 being old we got a 31 forage reel. This is the first Arctic charred one ever made. Let's see no way. Sample run for myself. They don't catch much. <laughs> <laughs> but they're about to. Activity. We got some action, guys. We got the first high flyer of the day, first high flyer of the year for Sean. He's got, this one's the mega shiner, so maybe it pulled it out of the band, but I doubt it. That band was on there pretty tight. Yeah, I don't think it really tucked it over hard. He's off to the side. I mean, that could be the bait. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got some, we got some activity. Yeah. Chugging away. Such a hard call. What do you guys think at home? Yank it, it's not spinning, but it is off to the side. Or do you wait and let him chew? It's going a little bit more. I'd turn the reel at least. I like fishy. to turn the reel. He says it looks fishy. Trouble is you're gonna feel for a fish and you're gonna feel a big shiner. Well, whatever's eating that shiner, I think we're gonna be able to tell the difference. Yeah, I doubt this one's a yellow perch. No, that Shiner Didi yellow perch <laughs> thing is a massive. <laughs> yellow perch comes in and see what's up and the Shiner bites them. We should take a real hard run. I know, that's what I'm waiting for too. This is exciting. I love seeing that. I hope I got enough battery on this thing. Oh, that's not a Shiner, right? Can't be. Stop. Do you stop to eat or do you change directions? He's coming around, isn't he? We're gonna take him. Yeah, take him. Got him? Negative. No! Got anything? There it is. There it is. Any size? Yeah, we. It's a giant. Not a giant? It's coming in. Little guy. What? Big bait? Waste, little fish. Wasted that. <laughs> Beautiful bait on that oh guy. Oh my gosh. Can't even believe it. They do got big mouths. Yeah. Big uh, big intentions too. Big aspirations. 
You gotta. Yeah, just a. Uh... Oh yeah, he's easy to easy to get. He didn't get that bait very deep. I got a catch bag right here. Yeah. It's right there, right? We're happy to get a flag and happy to get a fish top first, side. First fish, uh, one for one. 2024 20, season for me right there. Beautiful. We're not gonna complain. Nope. See you later, buddy. There we go. <laughs> All right, I got a high flyer. I got to go quick because this is our last battery in this that we had in the snowmobile. Way off to the side. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Uh, it's way up high. It's still nothing. Feels like just bait. Took a mile. Nothing to set into yet. Wow. Went for a run. Sure did. This is the marker. Yeah. Nothing. Chewed it? Oh, my chewish. Chewed, chewed, chewed it, it and he put the hook back into it. New hook I'm trying out. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it was like on clearance at Tackle Warehouse, oh. so I grabbed it. Might be a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have got you closer if you didn't want to leave your chair. <laughs> wow, it's already iced up. Straight. Well, not really straight down, but... Not really what we like. You to took see. a crank though, didn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's... That's a fish. Be on there, baby. It's a fish. He's not too proud of it yet, guys. Oh Look my that. god! <laughs> we're, we're keeping him. <laughs> Holy gosh, what is he doing? Oh man. I got the catch bag if you need it. Right here. I got it. You need yeah. you go, don't go over the hole. That's a staven yellow. Look how fat he is. We might be jigging over here. Take a bucket of them to eat. Look at that thing. Look at the belly. He likes to eat. Yeah. <laughs> and he's still trying to eat. Look at that thing. He baits he like tried to eat. half his size. Oh, man. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened on that other flag you had. Could be. It's a pretty good ride. Ooh. Is there something really there? Drop the side. Just a perch, I'd say. Still on there? Jumbo. <laughs> Another perch hole. Or same perch hole, right? Jumbo. That's amazing. It's amazing he can get down that, that big bait. Oh, he did it. I let him. You want him? Yep. Oh, what should we do? Keep chasing them things, or? Your call. Go big. Bigger bait, you probably won't get them. It's bad. You can get bigger perch. Yeah, it's pretty good ride back here, but I wouldn't want very rough terrain. <laughs> you wouldn't want to go much faster? You get real dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far, guys, we're up to four species. You haven't seen the other ones yet, because we just started jigging. I didn't have time to set up the camera, and we got a white perch. That sh oh yeah, they're not gonna grab that one. They'll take every scale off it. They'll eat its eyeballs and its nose, <laughs> but they won't eat that thing. They take a wicked perch to get the head. And if it's a live shiner, they usually can get away long enough. But I've pulled them up or at the end of the day and they don't have a scale left on them and their nose is all chewed. <laughs> the eyes are chewed. Poor guys. Yeah. It's just 500 perch just chewing on them. Just down there stuck on a hook and <laughs> <Yeah>. terrorized. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get off. 
buddy. Even. I had a hit while I was scooping that out. Yeah. I got a high flyer on my pinky. Pretty aggressive. I got a flag. Do you? Yeah. I'll come pick you up, John. After I catch this crappie. They always, you always get a flag when you find the fish and they start biting wings. You want some of these to keep? No, I'm not going to keep any. I just didn't throw these down while the school was here. Oh. I, want me to hold this out? No, throw it down. Well, I'm going to go get that flag. I'll be back to catch yeah. some more of these if it's safe. Guys, we got a flag, and it's my new pink trap. Let's go get it. First, we gotta go get Sean. All right, we got Sean. We got Sean, we're ready. We got a flag. Might have been a little too much speed. Oh, you go a little slower. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah. We got bubbles, bro, we got nothing. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, all right? I was excited for <laughs> Pinky, you know. It's out there a mile. You look good with that trap. Oh, definitely strip bait, no bait. No bait. Quick run, no bait, big pike. Dang it. You got one? Dang it. Yeah, we'll go a little slower then with the chair, especially over the bumpy stuff. I can't remember what I had on this one, but no matter. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's feed them the corn. Fed I, I, I find something they want to bite over there. Yeah, I like that sweatshirt. It's... <laughs> you have a good one? Uh, for this place, it's average. I'm going to say this could be a 12. Nice. I unhooked him right there. Oh, He's right there laying in the hole. Is he? <laughs> yeah, if I had to. I got a scoop for no, here. my hole's not big enough. So. Oh. Yeah, he's laying right there. Can you see him? Yeah. He's right in the hole. Ah, he's gone now. Oh, man. Here, I'll give you a consolation prize if you want. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, you know, I'll be back. Yeah. Pinky's back out. You got a good one? Oh yeah, nice one. They're back, Joe, huh? Yeah, any bigger ones? No, they're all the same size. This one I mean, look, they're good, they're greedy. This one looked bigger on the screen. Yeah. Feels all right. I had one that They're got perfect off, eaters. off in the hole facing up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I dropped my jig right down in his mouth. No way. I was going to hook him again, but just as I was going to hook him, he came to the pot or went down and grabbed him. That's a pretty fish right there. This one will go down when I bring this one up. This Got him on a yeah. cast master rattle master. I might keep this one. This one looked bigger. It's either a white perch or a really nice crappie. I think it's a white perch. Jeez. Something. Yeah, he's going around the hole like a whitey. Look at the, look at the tip. Just thump, thump, yeah, thump, 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 thump. thump. Dude, you could have got a hold of a smallmouth. No, no, it's a big oh, yellow. Oh my. Jumbo. God. Yeah. It's about every yellow perch we've seen except that little baby one. Yeah. They all look like that. They're all over, Sean. There you go. Yellow? Fighting harder? Oh, crap. Oh, nice crappy. Crappy. Well, we're going to see if third time's a charm. He's rolling. That three inch pull's about empty. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Whoa. Might need a little backup over here. That's what you want to see. That feels good. Oh, I turned it. It's coming right out of it. Uh -oh. I got to keep up with it. Oh. Whoa. Wow. I hope it's as good as it's feeling. Just turned again. I'm probably burned in. It's coming right at us. I hope. I hope. Oh, yeah. Good head shake there. Good head shake. Bottom marker. We're not burned in. Pinky. We got a pretty decent, pretty decent one. I hope. Yeah, not. He got a little smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Funny yeah. how they do that. Well, look at his lip. It's turned right down. That's weird. Yeah, that's the funniest lip I've ever seen. It's like a duck bill. Duck bill. <laughs> duck bill pikeapus. It's like he broke his face. Yeah, look at that lip. Funny. Old duck billed pikeapus or platypus. His jaw is all messed up. Something happened to him. Yeah, he's got serious problems. Man, that thing gave me a fight. I thought I had a good one. Really? All that drag he's got on his face. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it was. You've got the bait back. That is the weirdest jaw I've ever seen. I'll show the guys one more time. Look at that jaw. That's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a face for radio. Really? Well, it took him three tries to get yeah. in his mouth. Poor guy. See you later, little gator. Thanks. Nice. You can try again. Yeah. Nice. Good, good friend. Uh, she's off the side pretty hard. That doesn't sound like a perch. I think you put a good shiner on, didn't you? Yeah. Took some. Well, he's up high. Be there, baby. Oh, that looked like it snubbed you up a little bit. You don't want to move. For real? Here he comes. Good fish? Feels decent. I have a hard time reading them. He came around. Oh yeah. Nice. Pike in that same, same six same to ten category. five to ten pain pound range. Oh, yeah, nice one. Good hook. That one's pretty long. About thirty two inches? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, there could be something on there. Oh, yeah. Good turn. Good turn? Good turn. Big old yellow perch. No? Nothing. Stripped you. Weird. No telling. No telling. Why isn't it sinking? The wind's keeping it from sinking. That's why it wasn't sinking. Big old yellow perch came up and ate it. Some big yellows here. Oh, nice yellow. That's a jumbo. That's a jumbo. Your flag? Probably less than 10 seconds. We can give it a count now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two.
two, one, action. Come on, no dice. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is fun as heck. No live scope. Just blind jigging next to you. Big ol' yellow perch. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Each one's getting bigger and bigger. I'm gonna have to measure him for that tournament. There's a bunch more holes here. Oh. oh, there's jig poles there too. He's got to go 12, doesn't he? Mouth shut, bump. Oh yeah, he goes 12. Oh, pinch tail. 12. 12? Sweet, I could use them. What do they consider uh, big ones out there? Uh, depends where you are. Wild West. I I think twelve's probably considered a jumbo anywhere you are. There's another one. This did not turn in jumbo. He's getting a little bigger. I'll throw him back. I'm protecting your honor over here. You're trapped. <laughs> That one felt decent too. Why is it always the big ends? That's how they got that way. Yep. Oh, he was running with it. Running with the gang. At least they're leaving your trap alone for a minute. Oh, another good one. 11 plus. His stomach's coming out. Oh, stop sinking, so that means <laughs> that means it's in the, his mouth. This is crazy. Wow, that's a meaty male. Oh, I do have a jig pole. There's more in that box right there. I figure you were giving your hands a chance to warm up. It's pretty brutal. I'm gonna stand on this side so the wind's at my back. Oh, stop sinking. Maybe not. Yeah, you just pick and choose which ones you want. They have different prizes, different entries, amounts for entries and stuff. So there's one, I'm in that stone cold crappy classic ends this week, and then there's one that ends in like March for like, oh, that's a big one. You can still get him. <laughs> I don't think he's going to survive the week. International Ice Fishing Championship or something. That's the one with every species. It's pretty cool. I'll show you the, the leaderboard. This is unreal. That one I might throw back. You hate throwing back a yellow because they usually take the school with them, but if you're not going to eat it, throw it. It doesn't. I don't know if that thing's broke or what, but I've been trying to figure it out. I'm working on it. I mean, there's more play in there than I've ever seen going in Brandon. Right? I don't know if it needs a damper or what, but it just doesn't throw any heat in here. It seems like we might be just throwing it all out the pipe. What do you think? Wow, that's not. Oh yeah, don't yeah, don't touch that pipe. Just a test. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I did it too. I, I burnt my fingerprints right off his yeah. hand. That was hot. Because you touch it, it doesn't feel hot. <laughs> no, then no, after no. a second, it, it's, it's like, oh yeah, hot. we're gonna melt your fingers. <laughs> What's up, guys? We come in for lunch. We're gonna drive a couple Louis lobsters into us right there. Sean says he could drive about two of them into them, so I'm gonna match them on that. You're gonna have four, but yeah, we got four. Joe, he was gonna have Joe four. Only had four. Four. <laughs> And then we got these things that come from the ocean, I guess the ocean floor. We're going to do those and some butter and another. 
another pan. So that's that's gonna be lunch for you. We're gonna we're gonna do something nice and warm, right? New lobsters with a few hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, with a few scallops. Lucky living in Maine, we we get some awesome scallops. They're so good. Oh man, they're so good. It's hard to you can't like eat a lot of them. Either. They're so rich. It's a heck of a lunch right there, guys. That'd probably cost something in a restaurant. Yeah, they're wicked. They are rich. <coughs> that one. They'll definitely fill the money. I ate some the other day, just raw. Yeah. Um, How was it? Scott cut them like in a little thin sliver. Yeah. And then rolled them in like, like olive oil and some kind of lemon juice or something. Yeah. Like sushi. Oh, I freaking love sushi. All right, I think if you're ready for them hot dogs, there's two gr two buns that are grilled really good. Take those. See if they're hot enough for you. There's a plate plate right there if you want it. Wow, wow! <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Sean, poor Sean's burning burning himself yeah. pretty good today. That was my other hand too. Yeah, <laughs> he got both hands. <laughs> oh man! All right, there's some cat. There's some cat stuff here, or red franks if you want it, or both. Oh. There's sriracha sauce too. Wow. If you want it. This stuff's real hot, isn't it? I don't think it was too bad. I, I put some on my eggs. Or this is creamy sriracha. But it didn't seem it. Slippery. There's the cat yeah. right there. Which one? That. Try this stuff? Yeah, let me know how it is. It didn't seem like much on my eggs this morning. Oh, scallops are starting to smell pretty darn good. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Would you recommend it? Over ketchup? It's not. Um. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not good. It's good. Oh. It's not hot. No. I wouldn't call it spicy. Yeah, I wonder if it's because it's the creamy that is why it's not hot. It's good. It's real good. Does it taste like a tomato base or pepper base? Tomato. Tomato. I'm going to try one. Hot dog cooked. Yeah, that's for your scallops whenever you're ready. Dig in, either take a bunch or take them one at a time or whatever you want to do. We got some wicked scallops here, guys, that melt in your mouth. They're just so freaking good here in Maine. Oh. Fresh, they're dragging right now. Yep. Yeah, they're fresh. They taste just like the ocean floor. <laughs> Oh, that's good, isn't it? Wicked. I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> I just threw some butter in the pan. You don't need to. Jeez. That's pretty darn good lunch right there. Some Louis lobsters and some scallops. Yeah. A little bit. Lobsters and scallops, you know. You can't beat it. Two lobsters each. Woo. About, <laughs> about a dozen scallops each. We're going to have full bellies warmed up. I got some hot coffee still in the thermos. Um, we're keeping an eye on our flags right now. And in the afternoon, hopefully we catch a couple fish and stay awake. Full belly like that, it's hard to stay awake oh, yeah. sometimes. But nap time here in a minute. I'm super pumped to get Sean on the ice for his first time. We always have a good time fishing, whether we catch them, whether we don't. What do we have, three pikes top topside already? Three pretty solid fish. Yep. Yep, a bunch of crappie. Got one. Yep. Bunch of crappie, some staving yellow Giant perch. <laughs> yeah, and a couple white perch. Yeah, it's more about a good time than the fish. Yeah. Yeah. We could catch nothing, it'd be just about the same. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't really matter. They're a bonus. Mm -hmm. 
the fish are a bonus. And when you guys go into hunting or fishing or whatever it is with that attitude, you know, Sean's always got that attitude too. It just makes for a great day. You know, if you just try to have a great day and make a great day, then you get birds, you get fish, you get deer, whatever. It's just a bonus. Being able to do it and get out is the best part. Put your time in. They'll mm -hmm. come eventually. But you're not going to get them every time. Yeah, I think I think a lot of youngsters run into that problem. Right. Where yep. they don't put the time in. Get frustrated. It. Yeah. You can't get frustrated. That sauce wasn't half bad on a hot dog. Oh, good. Yeah, it gave just a little kick at the end. That creamy sriracha, if I'm saying that right. I wouldn't put it on scallops. I hear your phone. <laughs> it's pocket. Sean doesn't, he's, <laughs> he's having pocket problems. You guys ever had this problem? He's the first time he's ever worn Eskimo bibs. He's got a brand new pair. They're awesome. I think they're the legends. I'm very impressed. The I'm trouble he's having is he's got too many pockets. I can hear it ringing. I know. But, yep. I've always run the Carhartts. So I think this is the first time I've ever been ice fishing and not had my knees wet. So. I know. It's usually wicked up. Well, she's off to the side pretty good. We got three lunch flags. We didn't eat fast enough. Nothing on there or else he's come back. That's twice he's taken. Oh, whoa. He's on there. Wow, big head shakes. Wow. Sitting like a log. There was nothing that there. It looked like it just you, stopped. Yeah, did you see that? Mm. Wow, we might have something here, folks. All right, we're at our leader. It's just wait right now. No fight. It's coming in easy now. Maybe it's, maybe it's not that big. Oh, it's pretty big. It's one of the bigger ones, the bigger one of the day. I got steel on this one so I can... Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah! Woo! What a pig. Nice. Lunch for everybody. Sweet. It's right there. I'll get the... Don't forget your bump board. Don't what? Get your bump board. I know. i got to remember to enter this guy. I forgot the last one. Hey, pig. Look at he's he got. Wicked fatty. He's got my two other baits in his mouth from earlier today. Right there, if I could just get in there. Got it. Come right out. Pretty easy when you get the right tools. Alrighty, I'm gonna put him on a bump board, guys. What do you think? He's gotta go 30 plus, right? Did you say 32? I sure did. No, you didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> guy's pretty good. Alright. All right. All right, guys, there he is, eight, nine, going back. Gonna free the fighter. See you later, big gator. Oh, nice one. All right. Yes. Thanks, buddy. Slime, slime. But uh, I'll reset this after, whereas we got those other two flags. Let's go get those. Forgot about them for a minute. Yeah. Here, where you go? Up again. Nothing yet. Mean Feels awful yellow perchy. Nope. That could have been a pike though. They'll tell here in a second. Yeah. Yellow perchy. And I'm halfway down. Your next one, we've already caught a pile of yellow perch over there. But you did catch a pike there, so. Tough to tell. What Tough to tell. Is. We're not going to be complacent. Could go either way. Yep. Could go either way, folks. What's your guess at home on this next one from Sean? Sean's got a flag on the extra tall Robert. You've got three perch out of it, two perch out of it. Two big perch. Yep. One pike. The funniest thing happened last time we fished here is Donnie wanted to help out and pick up your 
your trap for you, and he wound it on backwards. <laughs> and I caught him. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, he caught him. Sabotage me. He tried his best. We missed Donnie. Yeah. He'll be out. He'll be back. Not the same having not having him out here this year. I know. Eating donuts. Yeah. Miss that. Anything promising? She's going this way pretty hard. I like that. No. I hope so. Hopefully turn back. Look at that eagle. One just flew by. Still nothing. He took a yard. This weren't no perch. No. Up high and dry. Wow, he took a run, didn't he? Hope he's still on there. No. Oh, my perch. Look at that thing. That's perch and pike. All right, guys, we're on the yellows again. Sean and I are about to put a little beat down on them. The school's a lot bigger than I thought it was. When you hook one, they all come out. Look, there's one up in the hole almost. See it? Or is that you? It's going to be me coming down. Yep. Yaddy! This one's fighting pretty good. Wow, that's a jumbo. Oh, look at them all go. They're on you, I think. Oh, yeah, they're on you. They're close to you. Oh, look at them on you. All right, lift up. Try to keep it, like, above them. There you go. Yeah. Just hold it right there. Thunk. Yeah. Oh. What are you using? Something with treble hook or single hook? Single. Single. So you got to let them eat it just a little hair longer. Now, if they all disappear, then we know we got a bike in the, in the chat. There you go. <laughs> that looks like a pretty good one. Yeah, another jumbo. jumbo. <laughs> I got a good one. This one's pretty good. Look at this cool coming up. I'll say I'll eat that one. Yeah. Another good one. Look at him. Isn't that awesome? A never ending supply of them down there. Yep. Just looking in the work down. Oh, nice one. These are long. Meaty. When I first saw that, there's no way it's legal, but. Apparently it is. Look into it a little more. Yeah, look into a little more. Oh my god, look at them swarming you. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, you got my line? Oh, I do. Yeah. No worries. Oh, as long as he doesn't twist up too much. Doubled up. Let's see if we can make a mess. You're doing all right, by the looks of it. Yep. I was trying not to catch this one because I thought he was small, but he's fighting pretty good. 
the one with him was way bigger, but this might not be too bad. Look at that school. He jumped out of the hole. It's amazing the school's staying with us throwing them back like this. We know there's no pike around. Nice. This one's pretty decent. Good fighter? Yep. You have some fight to them. Whoa! That's a jambalaya. Whoa, what's he got on him? You get a bit? I don't know. I think it's guts coming out the side of him. Right? Look at that school. One might be a decent one, huh? Yeah. Oh, fatty. <laughs> Look at that one. Is this not awesome or what? Look. Same thing. Yeah, I watched that guy eat you. Did you see that? Yeah. That was so cool. Nice. Oh, lost. Oh, this thing works pretty good. Yeah. They seem to enjoy it. <coughs> Amazing how fat these guys are and they're still eating. That's a pretty good one. This one's got 10 stripes. Nice one. That like cookie cutter. They're sharp, aren't they? Wicked. Grab them just right. Yeah. Yeah, you were getting a couple bites, by the way. One up one. Oh, that's a better one. Big golden. I think we could eat that one, right? Have all you want. Doesn't seem like we have a shortage. No. Yeah, we'll save him. That, that one's got a chunk of meat on him. Yeah, no. I know you, yeah, I saw them earlier. Somewhere. And one of, they're in one of these pockets. <laughs> Good one there. Alright, guys, found the rock bass. Been looking for these guys for a while now. And, uh, got one. That one right here ate the rattle master, like actually. I just so happen to be in a tournament that weighs in rock bass, so we're gonna weigh him in. Probably eat him too.
But that's the new state record rock bass right there. <laughs> Let's whack a couple of these, huh? Again. This feels like a tiny crappie. But it's not. It's another rock bass. A decent rock bass. That one feels a little better. This might be the new state record rock bass. Yep, it is. <laughs> Is that a, you got one? Nice. Sean's first one ever. First rock bass. We think. No. No, you got a yellow. Perch. <laughs> we spoke too soon. Yeah. Your face when I pulled that first one up was like, what? <laughs> what is that thing? That was funny. That was worth it. Their eyes are so red. Yeah, they're even more red in the summer. They're cool looking. Fish. Yeah, they're pretty cool looking fish. I was shocked at how good they taste. Well, we definitely had a species day. What did we put topside? White, yellow. Crappy. Crappy. Pike. Pike. Rock white, bass. yellow. Crappy, pike, rock bass. No pickerel, no other bass. No trout or salmon. Yeah. I don't know what I got into there. I'm thinking another one. Feels a little better. State record rock bass. Coming up. Oh yeah, that's a corker. Look at how fat that guy is. Yeah. That's a corker right there, guys. Look at that rock bass. They're hard to catch. You gotta have be state record caliber to catch these things. You got something coming in. All right, there's number five. Now I can throw them back after that. I gotta weigh in my five. Crap, my five. Very good. This rod's one of them new ones, so you'll feel the you'll feel the bite better. Like if you, especially if you watch that tip. Right. But you got see that bite. Oh, is he, this is exactly. tiny. This is tiny, whatever this is, if he's even still on. Is he even still on? We got a mess. Dude, I want to see how small this is if he's still on. I don't even think he's still on. No, he can't be still on, can he? Oh, how about I take my drag? That help. All right, he's still on. <laughs> but he doesn't mean he's not tiny. Yeah. Oh. Watch this tip, ready? Oh. I think it's another yellow. How long is that? This rod? Yeah. Uh, Very long. 36. The reel's like a super low gear ratio. Oh, it's a rock bass. Beautiful. Another rock bass, state record. I don't think I could use this one. My smallest one. Yeah, he's eight and a half. Let's see if he goes down out of that dip. Anything? Lift up. Just a little, see if it, see if you got one on. Yeah, you got one on. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Put it in your mouth and sit there. Yeah, they don't move. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 super lazy fish when they. This is your first one. This might be a decent one. He's showing up pretty good. Yeah, new state record. That's your first rock bass ever. First. That's the first. He's probably that. Nine and a quarter. He's decent size. Here, I'll see if. Let's see. Do you want to eat him, or do you want to throw him back? 
we've got to close them powerfully. Well, he's nine and might make three quarters. Nine and three quarter. Yep, so a new state record. I've caught him out of here, I think, like 12 or 13. All right, so Sean and I are doing a last, last hour trap check, making sure we got bait and good bait on. And I just checked this one, picking it up, and as I was holding it, it got wailed right out of my hand. Didn't even get to check it. No. So here, I'll give you this. There he goes. You want again? It's a little one roller. So I think he's sitting there chewing on. I don't think this is a big one, but let's find out. That was a pretty hard hit. Oh, is he still on? Yeah. He's got good head shakes. I don't think he's huge, but oh, big head shakes. Normally I don't park this close, but I was doing just a bait check. <laughs> Running out of room. He's a pretty decent fish, it feels like. He's big, he's bigger than a hammer handle. Nice. What a beauty, That's huh? A good one. Yeah, he must have been just sitting there looking at that bait. It doesn't look much different than what I thought. All right, guys. Nice one there. He's pretty heavy. Good, good, healthy fish there. If we're gonna eat one, that'd be that'd be a good candidate right there for size. But we're gonna say see you later, little gator, and watch him go. <laughs> he got me on the way up too, doing that. We'll throw that shiner back and. Perch chicken. Chris had one on, I didn't even know it. They're spitting up crappy like crazy. Ooh. See why these white lures are working too good? These little white lures. I did not see that happen. I was looking at the fish. I know. <laughs> so I don't know if it was a pike or a perch. I'm guessing perch. We got a flag. I feel like we'd see it right now on the screen if it was a pike. Oh, I can zoom out. Hold on. Wow, it hasn't gone anywhere. Oh. oh, it's rolling right now. Is it? Slow. Real slow roll. Is that it? Not moving now. Oh, it's, it's like coming around over here behind us. See it? Yeah. It's on bottom. It's Blind. like like a slow rolling perch. Way over here behind us. You still got him. Yeah, you still got him. Right the hole. Yeah, you did. I just saw him <laughs> going down. Look at that poor thing. It's mangled. It's a pretty big perch to get a hold of that. I don't, I don't believe I had a hook. No, I think he was just <laughs> sucking on it. Better one here, I think. Yep, that's a beefcake. Holy cow! That's got some meat on him. That one's got some shoulders. Might be some different fish moving in. We'll find out. Might be whiteies. Tugging. The tug is my drug. Wow, it's a jumbo. Every one of these has like at least two tails sticking out of their mouth. See that a baby crab? Oh, that guy jumped on you. Then he came to me. Wow, he this guy was feisty. Yours was feisty. Missed him. Jumped the gun. 
<laughs> Come down, hit that other fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nice. Oh, came right off. Almost out of the hole. Close. Yeah, you can see your bait now is about about two foot off the bottom. This guy's fighting pretty tough. One up, one down. Yeah, decent. Oh yeah, Look that up. one's got some Batty. shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's a blimp. <laughs> oh, you gotta show that one to the camera. That's the blimpiest one yet. Oh, look at him puking. Yeah, there's He's puking just... baby crappy. He's just engorged. Look at his gut. He's so full. Dollar a piece, we'd be doing all right. Yeah. You find out, come back out this week. Especially when we started first thing this morning. Yep. I'd say they've been here all day by the looks of my bait. Yeah, no kidding. Screen record. You got that all set up? You just yeah. push the button? Yeah. Right. Uh, yep, to my phone. I bring another phone too to record too, but that's a chunk. This one coming from the left doesn't look terrible. Let's see if I can catch him. These guys look pretty good size, yeah. Yeah. They feel pretty good. The whites or yellows? Sizable blobs. Yeah. A little bit bigger than you. We got a flag. It looks like a tiny one hit you. A little bit better perch. Quibbles are hitting your bait. They're hitting your lure. That one. That's a long one. <laughs> He's, does he have an injury too? No. Yeah, I wouldn't, if I was fishing for a dollar a fish, I'd have it there. But I'm about done on these perch. How about you? My hands are cold. Yeah. We could get done, go warm up, build a fire or something, shoot some guns, play <laughs> some golf, go whack some crappy. Wow. This one's fighting a little strong. Wow, got a tiger here. What do you got? This, one, this must be the one that tripped your flag. Oh, he's a jumbo. Wow, that's a jumbo, dude. Wow, that's thick. <laughs> he's puking it out. That's the biggest one I think yet for me. Well, I ordered them, but they didn't have them. I just lifted a monstrous school. They're like coming up almost into the hole. Look at them all. It's nuts. Look at them all. It's nuts, dude. There's got to be a thousand here. Oh, I don't know why I just dropped down again. I'm pretty much tired of catching these. I know. It is fun. All right, this is my last one. Last one, I promise. I, I, I keep at it. I just. I'm gonna warm my hands up and take a little break here. Oh, 
<laughs> Ooh, that was a shiner. I should have put these on to begin with. Be in shape. Oh yeah, you could have fished with those, right? Absolutely. Why did I drop down again? I'm in like habit right now. Can't stop. Can't stop. Addicted to the perch dig. That was funny, Chelsea. He's like, I don't know why, but I just want to jig crappy and perch. <laughs> really? Yeah. Bought a bunch of new jig poles, bought that Lakewood case. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna bring out the 2800 for that old guy tomorrow if it's windy like this. That's another staver. How are these guys still eating? Like those one, the ones we hook, you throw them back. Are they down? You know what I mean? You don't, you don't think they're gonna come? Oh, they're not biting again. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, no, these are all new fish. You don't think, there's no chance that they'd be back in like five minutes to do it again. No. No, they go right to the bottom and cry. I mean, yeah, it could happen, but it's not. Well, Candace was jealous. My new bibs made me order her pair. Really? Yeah. This is, this is just crazy. This is what Wayne was talking about. It is every drop and it's the same way for crappy. That's a pretty one. It's amazing there's like crap. Oh my, dude, you gotta look at this school now. Look at that. That's sick. That's sick. Oh, is your line back down there? Oh, so your other one? Yeah. Okay. It's on bottom. It's just bait, huh? Oh, less than five seconds. The line just got down. Once you get down there. I'd like to see one about 16 inches. Right. State record. That's by far the most we've had yet. You got one swimming with your jig, I think. I think it's about six of them. Yeah, they were swimming with it though, <laughs> I think. Oh. Surprised no crappie have come over. But see, this one is a shiner. That one right there is not a baby crappie. Everything else they puked up a baby crappie. That's a big one. Golly. That's another 12er. I want to get another cup of coffee, but I can't stop. <laughs> it's hard to stop when you get a fish every single drop. It's going to be 50 on the screen right yeah. now. Yeah. Tag a buddy who can't catch a fish on this screen. <laughs> Chubbs, we're tagging you. I had one on. Wow, that's a big one. It's over 12, I bet.
It's still cold enough to make ice in the guides. Oh yeah. It's colder now than when I got here this morning, I think. I mean, realistically, if we were hammering as hard as we can like this, how many do you think we could catch in a day? Oh. I mean, like <laughs> over 500, right? I would think. A piece. Yeah. I mean, you're talking ones. I'm getting one as quick as I can draw. I'm going to try to let this guy go. He's too small. like two minutes between them. Oh yeah, minimal. That'd be... Look at that. That's a jumbo. <laughs> He's got like tiny eyes, but his, <laughs> his body's huge. So fat. Thick that thing. That's crazy. I couldn't feel my jig because he had it halfway down his gut. Keep them going. Funny because their eyes aren't that big, but you get them out, they're just so s stout. Just don't know what to do. <laughs> He's confused. These are awesome, though. They're just so much fun to catch. This rod's super sensitive. This is really good. Cool. Doubled up! This one. Let's talk about it, I think. Oh, you got a good one? No, <laughs> it would have been. Side hooked him. He's still on it. Dragging it around. Yeah, you can see your swivels moving. He's puking up some bigger stuff. Wow. It's amazing any fish survives this big. All that, right. This big in here, you know? With this many guys lurking. And some of them must be good at hiding. Yeah. Hiding award winner, 2024. <laughs> Just think, this is just one little one spot. There's a billion fish in here. I'd come here. Look at that. That's a fat one. <laughs> oh man. One more for me, that's it. <laughs> that's it. One more. Freaking 50 fish later. I couldn't stand watching you catch one. <laughs> one more, and that's it. One. 
Oh, he's heavy. Oh, gosh. That's enough for me. Get these guys. That's running out of bait. I drink, you know. I don't expect to not catch fish. Yep. See you guys. I bring, I bring everything you have and sell it <laughs> at, the, at that derby. Yeah, Brent and his brother stopped and pick up bait for them. I said, you know what, boys? The best thing we can do right now is load this whole tank in your truck. Yeah, that's the truth. It's majestic out there. This is beautiful. All the way around. Is that it for me? Uh, it is. One, two, there's four left. Guys, we are picking up. It's getting near the end of the day for us. The sun has long set in. I got one more somewhere. You got one more right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sean has not had anything to drink today. Um, contrary to popular belief, um, he was looking for his last trap and it was it was right there. I hit it, I hit it on him. Yeah, but we're telling stories and telling lies and having a great time. It's been an absolutely awesome day. We got five pike top side so far and a hundred yellow perch top side and some rock bass and some white perch and some crappie. So multi, multi-species day, a lot of fun. Plenty of fish action. All sorts of action all day for a, for a cold day um, with some weather moving in. We're hoping so. for a 20 pounder, but. Yeah, anytime we come out for pike fishing, like we're always hoping for something in the teens. Uh, like a 20 teen or an 11 teen or something like that doesn't always happen or in between but it doesn't always happen and you know a lot of it's just poor management by the state you know telling people they got to kill them or to kill them rather than just let them go if you're not going to eat them and let them grow because it sure is fun catching big fish and sean sees people every day that spend a lot of money and a lot of time chasing big fish and wanting to catch that fish of a lifetime Finally, I got to go try myself. Yeah, first day on the ice for him this year. It's uh, it's end of ice season for some people already, yeah. and he's just getting out. So that's the way it is when you work in, in in that business and that time of year and and stuff like that. So we're getting close to game on. Yeah, but later in the season, Sean usually gets a good trip with me to Moosehead and East Grand. And I said the other day, it's not too far off. I'm gonna disappear for about three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you guys uh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the fishing part of this. Stay tuned. Uh, we got a pretty good snowmobile ride out of here. And then you guys are going to get the camping part of it with me. I got a lot of fish to clean up. We ended up keeping like 25 fish. And I'm going to fillet those with a battery fillet knife. And then I'm also going to vacuum seal them with a battery vacuum sealer. And get them ready for myself or someone else to eat in the future. So stay tuned. Got your work cut out there. Yeah, a lot of flying. The sled tonight. was full in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried to fill it up, but, but yeah. So wow, she's beautiful out right now. One of my favorite parts of the day, and it's always bittersweet because it's the end of the day. But if we're lucky, we'll have it tomorrow. Hopefully, get to do it all over again. I just can't take my eyes off that sky over there. It's so gorgeous. This was the trap I found. I found this trap right here. You it's, own this trap. Well, no, Joe yeah. Hall has been putting a special patch on it. Yeah, I've, I've used it for a day now and caught, I caught a fish on it. First fish of the day for me. So yeah, if, uh, if that was your trap, let me know in the comments, reach out, and I'll get it back to you. It doesn't quite fit me with the pink line and the pink wood. It's a great look for him. Sean thought it was pretty funny when I was setting <laughs> that this morning. We should have got a picture for the website. <laughs> Here, actually, get it. You got your phone? You want a picture? You want the pink? With the pink. Okay, I'm back. Had a great day with Sean. I got a half a bucket of fish to clean tonight. Multi-species gonna have, what do we have? Yellow perch, crappy. I think I have some white perch in there and some rock bass. So gonna clean some up, get them filleted, cleaned and vacuum sealed and might even eat a few tonight. We'll see what's for dinner tonight. Here we go.
I bought a new electric fillet knife. This one's the XPS from Bass Pro Shops Cabela's. Has a decent amount of power. I think it's going to be a winner. But let's get going on these babies. Such a bad cut. I don't get it perfect every time. But I tried. Wow, the ice is talking.
Nice. All right. Rock mass, crappy, hurt, filleted, pretty well clean, and all vacuum sealed. So I'm going to send that home with my buddy CJ tomorrow. CJ's going to join me to fish tomorrow. He's never had rock mass before. That's excellent. And then the crappy and the perch are either going to go home or go to Donnie or both. Um, but that's some good quality vittles right there. I'm going to put them outside in the snowbank and keep them cold and they'll probably freeze tonight. We're at uh, 18 degrees out there right now. So they'll freeze up. Really, really liking this battery powered vacuum sealer. Um, battery knife. It's pretty good. I do a decent job with it. I know there's a lot better fillet guys out there than me, but it makes for pretty easy work. It started to heat up towards the end, so maybe you gotta keep an eye on how many I do. But, but it's pretty sweet having these lithium batteries. They don't weigh anything. They hold a they hold a great charge, and that's all there is. You know, it's a removable battery in this pack back, so you can get extras for that in the vacuum sealer. And that one's a removable battery for the fillet knife so I do have an extra one of those as well not sure what I'm going to do for dinner tonight if you guys have made it this far stay tuned we'll figure it out maybe like uh maybe just a cup of soup a bowl of soup or something and a couple pieces of toast that ought to do it tonight because we had a staving good lunch big lunch today a lot of people ask how I stay clean or not too stinky on these trips and you know you're cleaning fish or you're gutting birds or gutting deer or moose or something like that and still not getting a shower anytime soon is, is I just use baby wipes there uh, you could get scented or unscented and heat them up near your nearest heat source and it's kind of a pleasure but you can clean all your all your areas with those things get your face arms hands and your uh, your privates and stay pretty clean and feeling pretty fresh you know for seven ten whatever however many days it is because you ain't getting a shower out here on the ice while you're camping if you do, it's probably not good. Yeah, I think for dinner tonight, we're just going to do a, a saucepan full of soup and some toast. So we're going to do, we're cooking with style tonight. We're having some creamy chicken noodle. Probably should have just got regular chicken noodle, but this is what we got. See if it's any good. I always like cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup so I'm hoping it's kind of a, along those same lines this stuff's really good that's uh borealis breads made right there in Waldeboro Maine and this is the rosemary bread and it makes tremendous toast and sandwiches and they do a great job making bread there I think I'm gonna have a couple pieces of that and I'm gonna take the heel and throw a little butter on that eat it while I'm waiting for everything to to cook and warm up all right there's dinner pretty easy quick quick and easy dinner tonight nice hearty good meal you know that toast is going right in there That's pretty good gear right there. The ice is really talking tonight. It's going to be, hopefully it doesn't talk all night, keep me out, but it's uh, it's pretty loud making ice and a lot of shifting ice. I'd be a little bit more scared or concerned, but we're on a solid 14 inches, so pretty good to go. Ever since I grew this beard out, my shirts stay really clean.
some serious ice movement right there. Actually feel it go up or down. It's not half bad. I'd stick with a regular Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Drove that right into me pretty hard. One of the hardest things for me in the winter, and especially during ice fishing season, is to stay hydrated. I don't think coffee's much of a hydrator. So I never drink enough water or Gatorade or anything like that. And I, I gotta force myself to, cause boy, you can get some cramped muscles and not feeling good if you're dehydrated. And it does take it out of you, the dry, dry cold and, and uh, just being out there all day outside can, can take quite a bit of the water out of you. So I gotta force myself to drink. Well, we're looking at 17 degrees right now. It's a little bit after 9.20 p.m. Gonna get cleaned up, brush my teeth, clean up, take a little dirty shower, and call it a night and get after it tomorrow. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video if, if you're so inclined. Really appreciate all the support. Really looking forward to the rest of this trip, guys.